I just found a YouTube channel that has gained close to 80,000 subscribers and more than 4 million views with just 22 faceless videos. And the crazy part is, this channel is fully automated using AI tools, making video creation a really simple process. According to Social Blade, it's earning around $3,000 per month with AdSense alone. So in this video, I'll show you how they're doing it, what niche they chose, which AI tools they're using, and how you can create the same style of videos using Canva. So sit back, relax, and get ready for another amazing tutorial to level up your editing skills. So the channel name is Rise with Odin, and they're creating powerful, motivational, and success-driven videos. Short, captivating, and fully optimized for YouTube automation. It's the kind of content that's easy to replicate once you know the formula. So the first step is to find the right video topics. And here's exactly how I do that. I take four to five video titles from their channel and feed them into ChatGPT. This helps the AI understand the niche, tone, and style of content we're aiming to recreate. Here's the one-line prompt I use. Just paste your selected titles below the prompt, and within seconds, ChatGPT will generate fresh, high-performing video ideas that match the vibe of your competitor's channel. Once we have our title ideas ready, the next step is script writing. I went through two or three of their most popular videos and noticed something interesting. The scripts are super engaging. There's no complex storytelling or overly fancy language. Just clear, concise lines that are easy to follow and keep you hooked from start to finish. So here's my plan to replicate their style. I'm going to train ChatGPT to better understand their tone and style of script writing. And to do that, we need to follow some steps. First, go to their most popular video, copy the video link, and open a new tab in your browser. Now search for YouTube transcription tool online. You'll find plenty of free options. Just pick anyone from the results. Once you're on the tools page, paste the copied YouTube link and click to generate the transcript. Within a few seconds, you'll get the full text version of that video. Now copy the entire transcript and paste it under a prompt in ChatGPT. This prompt will help train ChatGPT to understand the exact tone, flow and style of the video you're referencing. And here's the cool part. For your future videos, all you'll need to do is give it a title, and it'll automatically generate a script in that same style. Now you can hit enter, and this will train ChatGPT based on that script. It'll give you a breakdown of the tone, flow, and style, and at the end, it'll say something like, all right, give me your title, and I'll write the script for you. So head back to your list of title ideas, copy any one of them, and paste it here. And boom! ChatGPT will start generating high-quality, engaging scripts for your AI automation videos again and again. Once the script is generated, take a moment to review it. I did the same, and honestly the result was impressive. The script turned out really well, and I'm confident it'll perform great once published. So with the script ready, let's move on to the next step. Creating voiceovers for our video using the script. And to create voiceovers, we are going to use one of the best AI voiceover tools in the market, which is Eleven Labs. It's a powerful voiceover platform that lets you generate up to 10,000 characters for free, which is perfect for most YouTube scripts. So go ahead and sign up using the link in the description, and let's jump right in and start creating voiceovers for our video. So here I am on my 11 Labs dashboard. The first step is to select a voice character for our video. On 11 Labs, you'll find thousands of voice options to choose from, but I already have this voice selected, as it closely matches the tone and style used by our target channel. Now head back to your video script and copy the intro section. Switch over to 11 Labs and paste it into the text box section. Take a moment to review the script, fix any errors, or make small tweaks if you think it needs improvement. If everything looks good, just click on Generate Speech and boom! Within a few seconds, you'll have a high-quality voiceover ready for your video. Everyone says they want freedom. Freedom to travel. Freedom to work on their own terms. Freedom to live life their way. But here's the truth. Most people don't actually want freedom. They want comfort. They want certainty. They want someone to tell them what to do, even if they say they don't. Because freedom? Real freedom? And this is how the voiceover sounds with our script. Honestly, it's incredibly good and fits perfectly for our video. Now we'll do the same for the rest of the script. Just copy each section, paste it into 11 labs, generate the speech, and download the voiceover. I'm fast forwarding through this part since by now, you've probably got a good idea on how to create high quality voiceovers using Eleven Labs. Once all your voiceovers are downloaded, we're ready to move on to the next step, editing our video in Canva. Alright, now open Canva in a new tab, and this is what the dashboard should look like. 
From here, click on the Videos option, and a pop-up will appear asking for your preferred video dimensions. For our project, we're going with the default YouTube recommendation of 1920 by 1080 pixels for high-resolution video. Click on that option, and it'll open a new tab with a blank editing space. Our first step here is to name the clips. This helps keep everything organized. Next, head over to the Uploads tab and upload all the voiceovers we generated earlier. Once your voiceovers are uploaded, click on these blank pages and add around one minute of blank space to each. These blank clips will serve as placeholders, making the editing process faster and more manageable. Now hover between any two pages, click on Add Transition, and choose Match and Move. Set the duration to 0.3 seconds and hit Apply Between All Clips. Boom! This applies the transition to all your clips, and now we're all set to start editing the video. Now that our base timeline is ready, let's start adding the actual visuals according to our video. First, go to the Uploads tab and drag in the voiceover for your intro. Once it's on the timeline, you need to listen to the voiceover carefully. And I mean, this is the part where I want your full concentration, because it's one of the most crucial steps in video editing. Everyone says they want freedom. Here you may have noticed the voice is talking about freedom, so I'll go to the Elements tab and search for something that visually represents freedom, like a flying bird, open road, or sky. Once I find a clip or graphic that fits well, I'll drag it onto my first blank page. This way, the visuals align with the message, making the video feel more connected and engaging. Now trim the clip to match the voiceover. Keep it around three to five seconds. That's the sweet spot for better viewer retention. We'll follow this same process again and again. I'll listen to the voiceover, then search for a closely matched clip, add it to the timeline, and make trimming adjustments to sync everything smoothly. Watch how I'm doing it, because this will help you understand just how creative you can be while editing on Canva. Freedom to work on their own terms. Everyone says they want freedom. Freedom. Everyone says they want freedom. Freedom to travel. Freedom. Everyone says they want freedom. Freedom to travel. Freedom to work on their own terms. Freedom to live life their way. But here's the truth. They want comfort. They want, want certainty. They want someone to tell them what to do. Okay, this is how you edit your video step by step. Now to make it more attractive and engaging, just like our target channel, we're going to add some text animations. To do that, make sure you identify key points in your voiceover where text animations would enhance the message or emphasize important words. So for this part of the voiceover, I'm going to add a text animation to make it pop a bit more and grab attention. Watch closely as I show you exactly how to insert and animate text between your clips. Here you can see how I'm styling the text and adjusting it creatively to match the visuals, and you can do the exact same thing between your clips. Just follow the steps we talked about earlier. Listen to your voiceover, figure out what it's saying, search for matching visuals, and place them right here in the editing space. And if you feel a text animation could add more value, go ahead and include it, just like I'm doing. This keeps your viewers engaged throughout the video and makes your content stand out. Now let me go ahead and finish editing the entire video, and I'll meet you there once it's ready. As you can see, my video is now fully edited, and this is what the final timeline looks like in Canva. The video is around 2 minutes long, and it took me roughly 30 minutes to edit this section, so yes, you can absolutely do the same. Now it's time to download the video to your system. I'll be uploading this to a brand new YouTube channel to see how it performs from scratch. To download it, just go to the Share button in the top right corner, then click on Download. You'll see the option pop up. Click Download again, and Canva will start preparing your video. In just a couple of minutes, it'll be saved to your system. Now that the video is downloaded to my system, I'll go ahead and publish it on a completely new YouTube channel, just to test how well this strategy performs from scratch. I'll be linking that video right here once it's live, so you can watch it yourself and see how it turned out. And hey, once you've seen it, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear your feedback and ideas. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you found this helpful. 
I'll see you in the next one.